Good morning. Let us all please stand and let's take this moment to uh, turn towards one another and wish each other good morning. Good morning. Welcome. Good morning and welcome each other to our celebration of the Mass. Today we celebrate Thursday in the fifth week of the season of Easter. And our opening hymn is Gift of Finest Wheat. You satisfy the hungry heart with gift of finest wheat. Come give to us, O saving Lord, the bread of life to as when the shepherd calls his sheep, they know and heed his voice. So when you call your family, Lord, we follow and rejoice. You satisfy the hungry heart with gift of finest sweet, come give to us, O saving Lord, the bread of life to eat. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, with faith in Jesus, we now call to mind our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. You send your spirit to us. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. We remain in your love. Christe eleison, Christe eleison. You share your joy with us, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, by whose grace those sinners we are made just, and though pitiable made blessed, stand, we pray, by your works, stand by your gifts, that those justified by faith may not lack the courage of perseverance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After much debate had taken place, Peter got up and said to the Apostles and Presbyters, My brothers, you are well aware that from early days, God made his choice among you that through my mouth, the Gentiles would hear the word of the gospel and believe. And God who knows the heart bore witness by granting them the Holy Spirit, just as he did us. He made no distinction between us and them, for by faith he purified their hearts. Why then are you putting God to the test by placing on the shoulder of the disciples a yoke that neither our ancestors nor we have been able to bear? On the contrary, we believe that we are saved through the grace of the Lord Jesus in the same way as they. The whole assembly fell silent and they listened while Paul and Barnabas describe the signs and wonders God had worked among the Gentiles through them. After they had fallen silent, 
James responded, My brothers, listen to me. Simeon has described how God has concerned himself with acquiring from among the Gentiles a people for his name. The words of the prophets agree with this, as is written. After this, I shall return and rebuild the fallen hut of David. From its ruins, I shall rebuild it and raise it up again so that the rest of humanity may seek out the Lord, even all the Gentiles on whom my name is invoked. Thus says the Lord who accomplished these things known from of old. It is my judgment, therefore, that we ought to stop troubling the Gentiles who turn to God, but tell them by letter to avoid pollution from idols, unlawful marriage, the meat of strangled animals, and blood. For Moses, for generations now, has had those who proclaim him in every town, as he has been read in the synagogues every Sabbath. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord, all you lands. Sing to the Lord, bless his name. Proclaim, Proclaim God's, God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Announce his salvation day after day. Tell his glory among the nations, among all peoples, his wondrous deeds. Proclaim, Proclaim God's, God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Say among the nations, the Lord is king. He has made the world firm, not to be moved. He governs the peoples with equity. Proclaim, Proclaim God's, God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. This gospel Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. My sheep hear my voice, says the Lord. I know them and they follow me. Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father loves me, so I also love you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my joy might be in you and your joy might be complete. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. We have all heard the famous passage from the scriptures that says that God is love. But what exactly is love? Love is not just a, a feeling or an emotion or a sentiment as what most of our culture says or believes. Love is an action. Love is to go out of your way to will the good of another person. Jesus says in today's gospel, as the Father loves me, so also I love you. And how did he love us? He didn't love us just with emotions or feelings or sentiments. He loved us by his actions. He took our sins upon himself, was crucified on the cross where we belong because of our sins. And because of what he did, we were redeemed. And we had the opportunity for salvation. He shed his blood. He loved us by actions, 
not just by feeling. Now, just as Jesus loves us in that way, he asks us to do the same. He wants us to return his love just as we love somebody else. We hope that they would return that love back to us. And so Jesus says in today's gospel, remain in my love. And right afterwards, if you keep my commandments and action, then you remain in my love. An action of love from God, an action of love in return from us. Finally, what's the fruit? What happens to us when we receive God's love and then we love him back? What's the fruit of that? Jesus says, I have said all these things to you so that my joy may be in you and your joy may be complete. If we're in our walk with the Lord in our discipleship and we find that we live lives of joy, of peace, there's a kind of radiance to our lives. Chances are we're living the Christian life well. On the flip side, on the other hand, if we're walking on our walk with the Lord and we find that we tend to be uh, grumpy or angry or rude or resentful or bitter or mean, chances are we're doing it wrong. Chances are the love of God is not within us. The fruit isn't being born and that a conversion of heart is needed. So in this Mass, we might ask the Lord, wherever we might be, if we find that the love of God is in us or we may be a little bit further away, that first of all, we receive God's love. As the Father has loved me, so I love you. We receive it first. Then we return back that love to God. And we allow that love between the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, and us to bear the fruit, not in anger or bitterness or rudeness or resentment, but in joy, in peace, in the love of God. Receiving the love of God, we now return our love back to God, presenting to Him our prayers. Our response, Lord, we place our trust in You. Lord, we place our trust in You. That our church may become a true community, producing fruits of love and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, we place our trust in You. That unbelievers may encounter God in the love of Christians. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, we place our trust in you. That married couples may be faithful in their love for each other and so bear witness to their Christian faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, we place our trust in you. That the sick may be steadfast in their faith and remain united with Jesus even in their suffering. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, we place our trust in you. That those who have departed from this life may rejoice forever in God's heavenly home. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, we place our trust in you. The intentions of this Mass are offered for the eternal repose of Anne-Marie Palacio and Anne Kraus. We pray for the intentions of Giorgino S. Naval, for the health of Josefina Agbayani, Erlinda T., Monica Sassis, and Erin Vukocevic. And finally, the eternal repose of Annabel Mariano, Oscar Vargas, 
Bernabe Kaampuen, Rosalinda da Canei, Joan Bautista la Maria, and Domenico la Maria. And now in silence we offer to the Lord the prayers and intentions of our own hearts, as well as those prayers placed in our Ark of Prayer chest. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, we place our trust in you. God our Father, open our hearts to receive your love. Help us to return that love back to you and bear fruit in our lives in joy. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant, we pray, that as we have come to know your truth, we may make, make it ours by a worthy way of life. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever, therefore overcome with paschal joy, Every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deus Sabaoth, Plenis Uncheli Etera, Gloria Tua, Hosanna in excelsis, benedictus, qui venit in homine domini. Hosanna in excelsis. Amen. 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Kevin, our Bishop, Timothy, Thomas, and Todd, his brother bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Santiago de Compostela, and all your saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. 
At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. On you stay, quit all is peccata mundi, be said and and obi. An you stay, quit all is peccata mundi, be sedet and hobbies. An you stay, quit all is peccata mundi, dona nobis pace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. the communion antiphon. Christ died for all, that those who live may live no longer for themselves, but for him who died for them and is risen. Alleluia. The body of Christ. We now join in prayer with our brothers and sisters praying with us online. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. 
Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life through Christ our Lord. And we turn now to Mary, our mother, as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of <clears throat> thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And to Saint Joseph, Hail, Guardian of the Redeemer, Spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary. To you God entrusted his only Son. In you Mary placed her trust. With you Christ was secure and safe. Blessed Joseph, to us too, show yourself a father and guide us in the path of life. Obtain for us grace, mercy, and courage, and defend us from every evil. Amen. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Just one brief announcement that beginning next week, in addition to our 6 a.m. daily Masses, uh, Father Thomas has decided to restore the uh, 8 a.m. Mass to six days a week as well. So uh, we'll be doing it again on Tuesdays and Thursdays, so six days a week for that 8 a.m. Mass as well, if you'd like to attend that Mass. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the blessing of Almighty God come down upon you and your loved ones, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Our closing hymn is Amazing Grace. Amazing Grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now am found, was blind, but now I see. T'was grace that taught my heart to fear and grace my fears relieve how precious did that grace appear the hour I first be have a blessed day, everyone.